Ready when you are. Roger that from Leaping Larry. Okay, my name is uh, Larry Dilworth, uh, AKA Leaping Larry. Uh, I got that name in the early 80s when I did a skydive that was on Channel 7. And what I was doing was just trying to encourage young men and women that are in wheelchairs not to be ashamed of their chair and to get out and do things. Because if I can jump out of plane, they can at least jump in the chair and go to a movie or do something. Well, welcome to Richmond Field. Uh, this is the home of Sand Hill Soaring. It's been located at this field for, boy, I can't even uh, remember it, uh, probably 25 or 30 years. Uh, Sand Hill Soaring is the largest, and we'd like to think the premier soaring site in Michigan. But I am sort of a daredevil in a wheelchair. I like excitement. Uh, I did the skydive. I've water skied. I've snow skied. I've uh, been in a hot air balloon. Uh, now this is my new adventure. If anybody ever saw the bucket list, uh, I don't want to wait till I'm terminal to do exciting things. So for my 66th birthday, I contacted this soaring club, Sand Hill Soaring, and I've been talking with a gentleman for over three years. And finally, I get the chance to actually go up in a glider or a sailplane. Yeah, I'm very excited about going up in one of these gliders because uh, I did a skydive and I wanted to be in a, in a vehicle that would go up without a motor and soaring in a glider is the closest thing to being a bird because there's no motor and you're just up there in the elements just gliding like a bird. So I'm looking forward to it. We had the wonderful opportunity to um, accommodate and uh, bring a dream to, to, to life uh, for Larry Dilworth, uh, AKA Leapin' Larry. Uh, Larry contacted me, oh, about three years ago, and one of the, uh, his dreams in his life has always been to fly, uh, and to fly in a glider. So he contacted me, and over the course of the past several years, we've been able to, to work out the details, and today was the, the culmination of Larry coming out, and he got a chance to fly, and I had the, I had the privilege uh, to fly with him and experience the joy that he saw and felt flying in a glider. How fast are we going up right now? Zero! Nice! <laughs> we'll go up to maybe 100, maybe 120. That's pretty good. Yellow is the control, or is the uh, release. The release, and you'll be the one that's gonna pull that. Okay. All right. For Larry, your belt's tight and secure. Yes, sir. All right, I'm checking the controls. The controls are free, clear, and correct. Cable is ready for hookup. Canopy, I'm gonna bring the canopy down. Canopy. And we're airborne, and we're going to stay down low waiting for the tow plane to take off. Beautiful glider. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're flying, Larry. We're flying. And maybe in a tow. I was born with spina bifida. Uh, the form of spina bifida I was born with is called myelomeningocele. I've been ambulatory until 1982, and that's when I became a person that uses a wheelchair for mobility. And I am not my chair. I just use that to get around. Never too late, never too late and to take the opportunity uh, to seize the moment and do something that you might think is just out of reach, but it's really not. Uh, here at Sand Hill, we can produce, and we do produce regularly, uh, top-notch quality pilots, and we do that by circling up in the warm air, just like a hawk or other soaring creature, uh, gaining altitude, and then flying in the direction that we want to travel. When you're born, you have a birth date, right? Then they have a dash, and then when you pass away, they have another number, right? You live in that dash 
forget about, you don't know whether you're gonna make it to that other part. So I'm a moment person and I live in the dash. I can't do nothing about yesterday. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but I'm living in this moment. Right now we're in the moment. The best part about it was this when he caught a clearing and went up above the clouds. That is the most beautiful scene you'll ever see in your life. Flying up, it was like people describe heaven, that's heaven, because you're looking down on the clouds. After your play, was, that, uh, was it worthwhile? It was more than worthwhile. All right, can I, do I, can I, you're gonna have to get out. So. <laughs> At some point, we're just, <laughs> I don't want to get all, out. That's the way we all feel. I don't, we don't want to get, get out. We don't no. I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to go up in one of these sailplanes. So. Because I love this guy. I, I mean, that's just me. I just love it. And, and the view, you, it's unbelievable, the view up there. Especially with a plane with no motor. You know, you're just like a bird. You know, no, It's all silent all year. It's wind. And it, it's, it's awesome. I think that's what keeps me going, you know, just having a, a good spirit and enjoying being around people, you know, and you're talking about a wonderful, I'll remember this the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank all the crew. Oh, you're very welcome, Larry. Very welcome.